CVTV from the CVX Expo 23 floor right here. We have our good friends from Solocity joining us in particular, Mike Bradley. Mike, you are the Marketing Development Manager. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Good, good. And so far the show's been okay? It's been very good. Very good. It's been very good. Very good. Uh, tell us a little bit about Solocity. You guys are a private wireless network solutions provider. That's a mouthful, by the way. Yeah. Uh, tell us some, a little bit about what you guys do. So. Uh, you're absolutely right. We are a managed service provider, private wireless networks, and that's 5G, 4G, LTE, private wireless networks, essentially. This is private in the sense that it, it, it doesn't touch any of, any of the MNOs. So it's not touching AT&T, it's not touching Verizon, it's not touching uh, T-Mobile. It's, it's completely private for the enterprise to use for their own internal use. Okay. Um, and Solocity, we are a core provider. Um, so that means that we have the cellular core that will put that 5G, 4G network in place for that enterprise to use. That sounds fantastic. Could you tell us uh, a little bit about the role that maybe channel partners play in private wireless networks and maybe the benefits of participating in this sort of market? Yeah, that's why we're here at Channel Vision Expo is to, to meet up with some additional channel partners. Uh, we could not go to market on our own with this. We would not scale. We have to do this through a network of channel partners. Those channel partners, the value that it brings to them is that they can go to market right now with these private wireless networks. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be able to do it. There's just not enough talent in the marketplace that does private cellular uh, uh, for them to like start up a practice on this. So it allows them to go to their customers today and say, hey, you need to have a private wireless network. Here's why you need it. Here's what we can do for you. And here's what we're going to bring it to you. Okay. Now, now private wireless networks that, that in my opinion, it, it's kind of an emerging industry. True. Uh, could you talk about some of the uh, industries that maybe you're buying into it? Sure, sure. You know, think about anything yard, rail yard, shipyards, uh, container terminals, uh, uh, refineries, you know, any place that's got a large area uh, that they're trying to cover with as few radios as possible, it's just not feasible with Wi-Fi, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it is feasible with private cellular network or a private wireless network, you know, in those yards. You look at, oh, higher education. You know, we're covering green spaces now so that the student experience, they can, they can be anywhere on campus and they can be connected to the internet, okay. which wasn't always the case. You look at, again, at the, at the uh, higher education. You look at a, um, a Notre Dame, for example. On game day, they have 80,000 students or 80,000 fans packed into the stadium, mm -hmm. their POS system is brought to its knees. They've offloaded that now, and they've put it on a private cellular network, and now their, their POS system is, is working just great. Yeah. You look at healthcare for, as another example, and you know it's HIPAA compliant right out of the box by virtue of the fact that you need a SIM card to get into that network. So if you don't have a SIM card, you're not getting into that network, so it's extremely secure. Okay. Um, there, there's a, a myriad of other use cases that are out there, uh, but those are just a few, you know, and I think it's important that the channel partners and everybody understands the use cases and the markets that they're, that we're serving, the industries that we're serving, because if they don't, if they're not able to recognize an opportunity, they're not going to be able to talk about it with the customer. They need to recognize it first, and then they need to do some, take some action with the customer to try and uh, put that private wireless network in place to be most effective with the customer. Now, you talk about opportunity, and as we kind of move forward, I mean, uh, lots of great opportunities in this area, I right. think. Um, what can we expect from Solocity in the future? Well, it, it's all about our partnerships. You know, we, we need to get as many partners as we can uh, to bring this technology to market, because if, if we don't have partners and, and they don't partner with us, yeah. they're not going to have this opportunity, and this opportunity is here now, and it's very real, so you need to... Go to, go to market with your customers with this. If you don't, somebody else is going to, and you're going to lose that opportunity. There's a bit of a land grab going on right now as it relates to private wireless networks, and they need to get involved and start being part of that land grab. That's fantastic. Now, if people want more information on Solocity, where can they go? Solocity.com, C-E-L-L-O-C-I-T-Y.com. There you have it, Solocity.com. Uh, thank you, Mike, for the time here today. Yep. Thank you. All right. And of course, we are live from the CVX Expo 23 floor with Solocity. This has been CVTV. Take care.